Hello everybody, this video is called How to Hibernate because we're getting into winter now and the night's getting longer and colder and more horrible and also recently I've been thinking a lot about how we never properly relax really in this day and age it's so fast paced that we always have our Blackberry or iPhone on and we're always checking our emails and Twitter and Facebook and text messages from people so I've come up with a way of just having proper me time at least once a week and it doesn't cost anything it's such a luxury just to get time to yourself just to relax and switch off so that's why I've made this video and I hope you enjoy it try not to fall asleep before the end The first thing that you need to do is to build your nest and by that I basically mean create your bed and then lie in it. And I filled mine full of really sumptuous fabrics. Um, I always have loads of duvets and throws and blankets and things like that. But I've got some faux fur on here. And if you want to see more about me building my nest, there's a vlog on my vlog channel. So there's some faux fur, gorgeous one from the White Company, and then another one here, really kind of chunky, brown faux fur, that's from Marks and Spencers, and then this gorgeous oversized knit from the White Company, which I've just totally fallen in love with, and there's matching cushions for that as well. I just think it's quite fantastical. And just layer them all up. Get yourself really, really cosy. I've got a hot water bottle with me as well. This is my heatable, microwavable bag puss, um, and you put him in the microwave for two minutes, and then he stays warm all night. I'll put all the links to everything that I'm showing you underneath in the information box. And a huge oversized alarm clock here. This is a Covent Garden alarm clock and I've always thought they're really cute. They're quite Alice in Wonderland-ish. Um, and the reason I've got an alarm clock is because I'm not gonna have my iPhone on. So I'm completely shutting myself off from the world. Timing your hibernation is really, really important. You probably don't want to do it on a work night because you can't fully relax because you know you've got to go to work the next day. So I think for most people, Saturday night will be the perfect hibernation night. And go to bed earlier than normal if you want to get all snuggled up and you can either read your magazines or your books or your Kindle. Not an iPad because, again, I think it's too tempting to turn it on, check your emails, check Twitter. You really want to be cut off from the outside world. So, Saturday night, maybe Friday night, I don't know, it's up to you. Just go to bed a couple of hours early and just turn everything off and that can be your one night of the week that you hibernate and it's just proper, true relaxation time. In terms of bedtime beauty, I think it's very important to keep it simple and easy. So it's probably not the night to do your face mask and exfoliation and body scrub and shaving your legs. I like to run myself a really warm bath and I think that warm baths do help you to really relax and unwind. Just have it very, very quiet, maybe light a few candles. I've got a few bath oils or bath kind of foams that I use when I want to feel very relaxed and they're mostly lavender based so I'm going to show you a few of those now. The first one's by Neome Luxury Organics. This is a Tranquility Organic Bath Foam. Sometimes I kind of prefer the bath foams to the oils, depends how I'm feeling. Oils are lovely but I like the kind of luxurious feel of the more foamy ones as well. My other favourite at the moment is from Abana. Now Abana are an amazing luxury body care company and um, they do oils and body lotions and perfumes and things like that but they use really luxury ingredients but they're very very well priced and this is the newest addition to the range this I think is called oh okay it doesn't have a particular name it's just a bath oil but it's from the sleep collection If I don't fancy a foam or an oil, then I've been using these loads. This is actually my second lot of these. This is the Aveda Stress Fix Soaking Salts, which you can also use as a kind of body scrub. So you can stand in a bath, scrub yourself with it, and then kind of get into the bath, and it forms this beautiful, relaxing, lavender scent. Um, so this is a really, really nice one. Nice one as gift as well. 
And then finally, this one, which is really well priced. This is probably my third or fourth bottle of this. This is Organic Surge Lavender Meadow Foaming Bath. Again, really relaxing, but if you want to go for a more budget option, this is a really nice one. I really like Organic Surge products, actually. They're very, very well priced. Once you're out of the bath, a few really nice nighttime treatments. Um, both of these are actually from This Works. This Works have got a deep sleep range and it's brilliant. It really actually does send me into proper sleep. This is a night oil, so it's a body oil. And if you don't like the texture of a body oil, there's also a deep sleep dream cream, also very lovely. I tend to mix a little bit of both of them together and you get a really nice consistency. But they just really send me into a very deep sleep. I do believe that all these kind of therapeutic essential oils really work when it comes to getting you to sleep. If I don't want to go the whole hog with body lotion and things like that, then I've got this little Elemis um, balm that goes on your temples and I put it on my pulse points as well. Uh, this is called the Quiet Mind Temple Balm. And I'm also a bit of a sucker for pillow mists as well. I've used this one for years. This is the Rituals Yin Pillow Mist and it's very fresh, smells like laundry. It's kind of not a very sleepy smell, but I quite like it in the summer when it's a bit hot and sticky. And then this one from This Works, again, Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. Just really nice, same kind of blend as the other products in the range, um, but makes you feel very sleepy indeed. Two midnight recovery treatments. The first is from Kiehl's. This is Midnight Recovery Concentrate, and it's a really gorgeous blend of oils. Put a little bit into the palms of your hands, press them together, warm the oils, and then press them into your face. Probably not a good idea if you're very, very oily skinned or acne prone, although once in a while won't hurt. The other one that I love, which is slightly lighter in consistency, not so oily, this is the Guerlain Midnight Secret. And this holds a special place in my heart because when I used to model in Japan, um, I shared an apartment with a girl who swore by this stuff. And she used to go out till all hours of the morning and still look amazing the next day. And she used to slather herself in this before she went to sleep. Now, I don't know whether she just had good skin, good jeans, but she always looked amazing the next day. So it's been a bit of a firm favorite with me for a few years now. And then finally on the beauty front, a couple of hair treatments. I really like doing overnight hair treatments. This one's pretty new. This is from Charles Worthington's Salon at Home and it's the Moisture Seal Overnight Hair Healer. Find this very, very effective and it doesn't leave any kind of greasy residue on your pillow. And the other one that I've used for a while is Secret de Nuit and this is from Fito and it's a very nice kind of luxurious feeling cream, but again, doesn't leave any residue, so it's not like a serum or an oil that might feel a little bit greasy. Both of these just kind of absorb into the hair, really, and leave it very, very conditioned for the morning. I'm obsessed with sleepwear and loungewear and anything comfortable, so I have quite a collection, but I do find it rather hard to get good pyjama bottoms that don't feel synthetic or, you know, sometimes they're too thick. Thin. I found my perfect pair and these are from Hush. They do them in loads of different patterns and they're just brilliant. Uh, and then I've paired that with one of the Sloppy Joe sweatshirts. And I'm also wearing arm warmers and big massive stripy bed socks. So I'm really going for it, but this is all about being totally cosy. You don't want to feel chilly whatsoever. So really going for it with all of my layers. I really like a sleepy time drink and my favourite is hot chocolate but obviously I can't do that too much so I save it for hibernation night. This is Green and Black's organic hot chocolate and it's one of my favourite and I do like to melt a few marshmallows into the top, I will admit it, um, but again, not too often. If I want a more regular nighttime drink that's a little bit healthier, then I have my Pucker nighttime um, tea bags and these have got oat flour, lavender and lime flour in them to aid a deep and peaceful sleep, which I think they really do. Well, I'm all tucked up. I was going to read some of my book, but I'm far too tired now. All of this talk of sleep has made me far too sleepy. So this is how to hibernate. If you want to check out how I made my nest, then have a look on my vlog channel. But otherwise, that's it from me for now. So good night.